Hi everyone. Well, you've heard us talk about Purdue Pharma quite a bit over the years. And the reason is they're kind of considered the heart of the opioid epidemic. And there's still a lot of people trying to get astronomical sums of money out of this company, even though it declared bankruptcy last year. Right now, federal prosecutors are trying to get about $18 billion for criminal and civil charges. And states who were hit hard by the opioid epidemic are trying to get $2.2 trillion out of the bankrupt company. Uh, there are a lot of filings going on right now. They've had a little uptick, but right now still no word on a settlement, but we will keep you posted. Employers in Philadelphia have a big deadline looming. On September 1st, the city's salary history ban goes into effect. Now this has taken years to get this law into place. The reason for that is the Chamber of Commerce felt that a piece of the law infringed on people's um, freedom of speech. And so they sued, they got it stopped, and then it got overturned on appeal. I thought about taking it to the Supreme Court but uh, decided that it was better to work with legislators and come up with a compromise. And now that compromise is going into effect. And basically what it means is employers cannot ask any applicants about their previous uh, salary at any of their previous employers. And you can't do this in an interview and you can't do it on paper. So you need to make sure not only your staff, but your paperwork is up to date. And it only applies if your applicant is going to be working inside the city limits. One of the most difficult parts of this entire COVID-19 thing is how long it's taking to get some of the test results. Some people are lucky. They say they get it in two or three days, but we've also heard reports of two weeks. So it makes it impossible for an employer to keep a safe work environment. Well, Yale and the MBA got together and they came up with a saliva test that was looking very promising. It was getting results in about 10 to 15 minutes. But then they realized that people with low levels of the infection were not showing up on this test. But now, how does a second test sound? Not second as in number two, second as in one second to get your results. Researchers in Israel have come up with a gargle test where all you do is gargle mouthwash and spit it into an ashtray-like device. And in one second, with 95% accuracy, it will tell you if you have the coronavirus. Testing continues, but if the results continue to be as good, they expect it to be available internationally by the end of the year. And that's going to do it for us today. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.